Hello guys, I have something very important to show you. And the other very important thing is over there, but I will show you later. So, these are truly itty bitty spiders. So, um, that spider is an adult male. I can tell because the bulges at the end of his pedipalps are, are darker. I mean, are dark. And when male spiders pedipalps turn dark, that means that they are ready to go off and find a mate. And here is the adult female. I know that this is an adult female because usually spiderlings will build a web and then lay out in the middle of it. But adult spiders will build a web and find a place to hide. Which is exactly what this one has done. In fact, you even need a flashlight to even see them. Kind of like sometimes. Okay, so now I'm going to zoom out and see if you can see them. Of course you can see the male, but can you see the female? Probably not, because it's so tiny. So another thing I want to show you is this biosphere that I made today. Well, not biosphere. Ecosphere, yeah, ecosphere. So anyway, an ecosphere is just like an internal terrarium, except it's pebbles and mud, algae, snails, well not, well not algae, you don't need snails because the snails will already be like everywhere. So you need snails, algae, and water. So when I made this, there was like nothing in here besides the algae, the rocks, and the water. And then all of a sudden, um, just snails started appearing and then tons and tons of, of, of these little brine shrimp just started appearing everywhere. So, to, to help me remember when I made this, I put the date on top of it. As you can see, it's March 20th, 2018. And um, we will see how long this thing thrives, which it probably will thrive a lot. Because judging God by I put a lot of algae in there, and there's the algae is already producing oxygen. So anyway, how these things work is it has to be a delicate balance of life and death. And like, it, it, if there's too much death, of course everything's going to die. And if there's too much life, everything's going to die. Because things aren't decomposing fast enough. They're not going at a steady rate. And which is what... The steady rate of like where the things are going. I, you know, I don't know how to really explain this, but I'm sure there are some people who can explain it better than me. But you know, it's just basically an ecosystem and a life cycle in a bottle. So, anyway, I'm gonna call this the creek in a bottle. But if you guys have some cooler name suggestions, then I might think about those. And I'm calling it a creek in a bottle because I got all the supplies from this in my creek. Well, not my creek, but the creek in the park. And um, depending on where you where you get the materials from, it can be an ocean bottle. I mean, an ocean in a bottle, or a river in a bottle, or um, a pond in a bottle, anything, a lake in a bottle. Just depends on where you get the stuff. And... Uh, I really have, I, I can't put Vicks on here, because, uh, and, um, I'm, I am so sorry that I just suddenly changed topics, so, here, you know, this is the end of the ecosystem thingy, and, um, now back to the spiders, so, I can't put Vicks on here, because, it, well, if I, if I put Vicks on my finger, I, my finger is not gonna fit in there, and another reason is, um, I know that with small spiders, they just climb right, right up the VIX like it's not even there. So that's why I put plastic wrap over it, and I have poked extremely tiny holes with extremely tiny needles. That they are probably still going to be able to climb out because they are tiny. But I judge that because that one just keeps trying to climb up. But no matter how hard it tries, if my camera will just focus in. Wait, hold on. Stupid camera. Alright, but anyway, um, that little fuzzy dot is the male. And no matter how hard it tries to climb up, once it reaches like this point for some reason, it always falls down. And I don't know why. 
So, um, thank you for watching. If you enjoy this video and you want to see updates on the ecosphere and checking in on these spiders, let me know and I will gladly do so. So, thank you for watching. Have a great day. Um, if you like the video and enjoyed it, then leave a like on the video. If you're new to my channel and you watch my videos and you like my videos, then you should probably subscribe if you want, if you want to see more. So, bye, have a great day.